This is the part two of the AdMob for Unity series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to successfully place an interstitial ad in your ad game. And when when uh, the player clicks uh, to retry the game, so here I'm going to add the script to the retry button. I have already added a method to the retry button, so I'm going to modify this method to display a ad mob ad. In the previous video, I have explained you how to properly import the Google Mobile Ads SDK into your project and how to uh, resolve the libraries. Go back and check that video if you are new. Now I'm going to import the Google Mobile Ads and Google Mobile Ads API dependencies in the project. Then I'm going to define a interstitial ad variable. Now inside start method, I'm going to call request interstitial. This is not a method yet, so I'm going to generate it by clicking Alt Enter. I am going to auto generate this method by clicking Alt Enter and then I will auto generate the request interstitial method. Now I am going to go back to AdMob interstitial ad documentation unity and in the documentation i'm going to copy this uh, add unit id uh, add unit ids then i'm going to paste this code in my c sharp script Now I'm going to assign a new interstitial add unit to the interstitial add variable. I'm going to use the add unit ID defined above. Now I'm creating a new ad request. Then I'm going to load a new interstitial ad with the ad request created above.
now in the retry method i'm going to check whether the interstitial ad is loaded and if loaded i'm going to display the ad else i'm going to read reload the scene Now, when the retry button is clicked, it will first check whether the interstitial is loaded. Then, if loaded, it will show the interstitial ad, or else, if the ad is not loaded, it will reload the scene. Now, we have to create an event to reload the scene when the ad is closed. To do that, we have to copy an event from the ad mob documentation In the AdMob documentation page, I'm going to copy this on add closed event and I will paste it in the requisition method. Now, on add closed event, I will reload the scene. I'm going to copy that line of code. And paste this here. Now this should work properly. Let's check the app in the editor. Now, in the game or window, I'm going to click retry and successfully display the interstitial app. So I'm going to close that. So the app is reloaded. So in this video, I showed you how to successfully place interstitial ads in your app. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel and like and share.